Hmm, a shadow in the middle of town. It managed to take over public transportation. I should investigate whether this means it's finally begun. Monorail. Listen to the monorail in Monoro. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> I must make a note of that one. Luck played an uncomfortably large part in the victory. Especially towards the end. If he hadn't guessed at the right controls, things could have been very bad. For shadows to work in a group to overrun large machines is unprecedented. The engine. That was an ingenious move. <laughs> What's with me today? I'm on a roll. Oh yeah, better write that one down too. One should always wear bright clothing at night. Otherwise, the shadows could make it dangerous to walk near traffic. Whoa, I'm getting a little off subject, but who cares? Hey, I should write all these down and show them off the next time everyone gets together. Hmm. Don't care for seafood? They also serve ground beef. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the status report anymore, but I'm having a blast. Let's see, what else? This way, officer. By the time I realized the door was halfway open, his room was already in this state. I've left the place untouched, as you requested. Hmm... Whose room is this? Junpei Iori, a junior. I've been attempting to reach him on his cell phone, but he hasn't responded in the last 30 minutes. It was careless of me to let my guard down. This dorm has been attacked in the past. Security is everyone's concern, but if anything happens to him, it's ultimately my responsibility. I hate to say it, Miss Kirijo, but this is most likely... Huh? Mitsuru-senpai? What the hell? Kurosawa-san? What's going on here? Iori? Where were you? I've been trying to contact you. Huh? Oh, uh, it was hot and the AC was busted, so I went to the manga cafe and fell asleep. <sighs> well, I'm just glad you're safe. But if it wasn't an attack, then it must have been theft. Why would the burglar target this room? Theft? What else could it be? Someone clearly tore through the room looking for something. Vandalizing a school dorm. When I find out who did this, I'll see to it that he or she is executed. Well, son, sounds like you've got a death sentence. How about it, Iori? Was this room in fact vandalized? Uh, well, my room always looks like this. W what? B but you can't possibly live here in this state, can you? A and the door was open. Oh, right. I wanted to air the place out while I was gone. No one we don't know ever comes around, so... I think this case is closed. May I return to my duties, Miss Kirijo? Oh, uh, yes. I'm sorry you had to see something so disgraceful. I apologize for all this. It seems my upbringing may have been more sheltered than I realized.
Come on, at least yell at me or something. What's the deal with you calling the police over a messy room anyway? What did I do to deserve this? Hey, wait. That fortune I drew on the way back, it was... worst luck. If I should have gone for the one-piece suit instead. These halter top bikinis look almost like underwear. It feels weird to have my belly button exposed. Now that I think about it, this is my first time choosing my own swimsuit. But there wasn't much of a selection with the one-piece ones. I wonder if I should ask Yukari-chan for one last opinion. Although... I don't really exercise, so I probably wouldn't look very good standing next to her. Oh, right! I have just the thing! The low-frequency waist slimmer pad I bought from Tanaka's show. It said online it was very effective for its price, so if it helps even a little before we leave... Now, let's see... How do I turn this on? Oh! Oh, no! This... Oh! <laughs> it, it, it tickles! Oh! <laughs> what am I gonna do? Why won't it come off? <laughs> oh, no! Yamagishi, may I bother you for a second? Oh, <laughs> it's Matsuro Senpai. <laughs> oh, I I have to answer the door. Yes, I'm I'm <laughs> coming. Oh, um, did I disturb you? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> it's not that important. Uh, never mind. Just carry on. Oh, <laughs> senpai! <laughs> Is this what it means to train your abs? Still not over that business in Yakushima. Is my way with girls really no better than Junpei's? How could they treat me the same as his lame pickup lines? Are you able to make others laugh with a well-timed joke? Well, I can't think of many examples, but I can do that much at least. Careful. Making others laugh and being laughed at are two entirely different things. <sighs> when people speak to you, do you try to respond with pure logic and reason? This is a common mistake with inarticulate men. Try to consider what the other party is feeling. <sighs> I gotta admit, they've got a point. Try testing yourself by speaking as if you're asking a female friend or co-worker to your favorite store. The two most important things are to smile and have a good sense of humor. Huh. Uh, uh, hey there! What great timing to see you here! <laughs> good one! I'm going to the beef bowl place. Wanna come with? <laughs> uh, humor. Humor. 
you know, the beef bowl place. Oh, hey, m maybe we could meet up there. <laughs> What am I, the chairman? That's it, screw this. You too can follow along on page 39 of this month's issue. Today we're making spicy pepper pasta. It's a great dish to keep your energy up through the summer heat. The key ingredient is green cayenne pepper. Remember to remove the seeds first. After that, we'll prepare some kelp broth. You'll need a pasta cooker about this size and... Pasta cooker? Do we have one here? Oh, <sighs> it's still pretty hot. It requires energy to maintain an appropriate external temperature. We have returned. <coughs> We're home, Korachan. Oh, shh. I'd feel awful if we woke up Shinjiro Senpai. <coughs> he says that Shinjiro-san is not asleep. Senpai's magazine. It's the monthly guide to the family cooking show. Does Shinjiro-senpai enjoy cooking shows? Oh, that's a new issue. I didn't know this month's was out. Oh, um, it's nothing. I've just been interested in cooking lately. Let's go! Damn it, I forgot she understands dog talk. Huh, don't sweat it. It ain't your fault. Don't worry, boy. Next time I'll make you something too, Korachan. My time has improved. <gasps> Surface body temperature reads 98.7 degrees. No fever. At this rate, he should make a full recovery by morning. The pillow I prepared in the freezer will not be necessary. I mustn't stay too long, or Yukari-san will reprimand me again. There are still four hours and twelve minutes until sunrise. Hmm. I need only sneak out again before morning. I will keep watch over him for a little longer. I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Not a very good habit to fall into. Well, 
I'm not at home, so I suppose being a little lax won't hurt. This fashion magazine. I saw Takiba buying one, so I thought I'd pick one up myself, but... This one piece is beloved by all, including friends, boyfriends, and boyfriends' friends. Alluring yet prudish, the ultimate combination. Oof. What are they talking about? I don't follow fashion myself. I usually just wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. Cute clothes, huh? Well, I do kind of want to try this. Pink one. Hmm. <laughs> not that I'd be able to pull it off. I'm not like Takeba. I should be careful to remember the distinction between clothes I want to wear and clothes I can wear. <gasps> I knew this was a bad habit. It's a good way to catch a cold. I should get some rest. I have to wake up early again tomorrow. Now which pajamas should I wear tonight? I guess it goes like this? Welcome! Are you ready to order? Hmm... Kinda sucks that the school festival got cancelled. Maybe I could just wear this around the dorm for the day. Sup, Yucatan! Hey! Does that mean you gotta call me master? What's going on, Yukari? You're planning to work at Mitsuru's mansion or something? Ugh, forget it. I haven't had a chance to return this yet, but now that I look at it, it's a real uniform, not just a costume. Hey! I should take a picture before I give it back to Senpai. Yukari-chan, are you there? I need your help with something. Sure, one sec. Yeah, I should drag Fuka into this too. Wouldn't want to be the only one in the picture looking this way. Chan, those clothes! I've got a couple spare outfits, if you want to try one on. How about it? Huh? Well, wait a second! Don't worry, just hold still. This is a little tricky to put on, so it'll be faster if I help. Uh, wait! Yukari-chan! Oh! This room is really too small to practice in. But come to think of it, I don't have to practice in secret anymore. I don't live on the first floor in this dorm, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. I chose a long weapon so I wouldn't lose to an adult's reach. But the longer the weapon, the better it is for taller people. Ow! Ow! 
I hit my shin again. I hope I get taller soon. Maybe I should drink more milk. Uh, it hurts my stomach sometimes, though. You know, future consultation is coming up. Yeah, what are we supposed to say during all that? Oh, Koro-chan. Aw, if you sleep wherever you want, you'll catch a cold. Hmm? What is it, I guess? There's a miniature camera near the ceiling. It's been camouflaged. Does that mean it's been recording whoever walks past here? Oh yeah, I forgot that you can check out anywhere in the dorm from the command room. Does that mean one has been placed in each of our rooms as well? thought about it, but probably so. I used the system last year. Huh? Is that true? Well, you need a key to use it, and I doubt any of the guys would dare look inside our rooms. <sighs> if they did, I'm gonna kick the living crap out of them before Nix can get his hands on them. Yukari-san, your vital signs are fluctuating. Are you in danger of... dying of shame? I guess. Anyway, we don't need that stupid system anymore. Let's ask Misuru-senpai to have it removed. <coughs> You're right. The camera's recording right now. Hello?